we're excited to announce another new way you can use YOLO V8 with your data in Label Studio. We now support video frame classification, supported by YOLO V8 and utilizing an LSTM layer on top for temporal classification. We offer two modes, simple, where you'll use the existing YOLO and LSTM model to label your data, and trainable, where you'll train a new YOLO and LSTM model to classify the video frames with labels that don't exist off the shelf. Let's dive in. For each of the two modes we offer, you'll need to create a new project. You'll also need to get the YOLO model up and running and connected as your ML backend for the project. I've already gone ahead and completed those steps for this demonstration. For more information, you can see our video on the rest of the YOLO V8 functionality, linked in the info card on the screen and in the description below. Let's take a look at the labeling interface for simple mode. You'll see that we first have the video tag, where the video will be displayed. You'll notice the parameter frame rate. It's crucial that you set this so that the model knows how to align the predictions with your video on the back end. Next, we have the Timeline Labels tag. In simple mode, you can set Model Trainable to False or exclude the parameter altogether, as False is the default. Then we list our labels, and we're good to go. If we click on a video that has not been up and annotated, you'll notice that it takes a second to load. This is because the model is busy predicting on every frame in the video. Longer videos may take more time to load. Once the predictions have loaded, you'll notice that our timeline, shown here at the bottom, has been labeled with ball in all the frames in which there is a ball. For the trainable mode, the video tag stays exactly the same as in simple mode. The timeline labels tag, however, gains many more parameters. These parameters allow you to configure the parameters of the model you're going to train right in Label Studio. For more about what these parameters are, see the README timeline labels markdown file in our GitHub repository and linked in the description. Note that our labels here are labels that are not available out of the box. We'll need to train the model on these. In trainable mode, when we first click into a new task, you'll see that while the model tries to load predictions, it doesn't actually load anything. That's because we need to train the model. Here, we'll go ahead and make a few annotations just for demonstration purposes, and we'll click Submit. Now, on the back end, the model is fine-tuning itself. If we click into another new task, you'll see that the model is once again trying to predict. Once again, it has no annotation because we still need to train the model. We'll go ahead and make a few more annotations as before, and click Submit. When we click into our third task, the model will once again try to predict. Still nothing, so we'll go ahead and label the frames as per usual, and click Submit. Now that the model is tuned a little bit, we can click into a fourth task. Here, you'll see that the model has already predicted ball and frame. That's correct. When we click Submit on this new annotation, it will still continue the retraining process. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and edit these predictions or add some more predictions. We'll change this back and click Submit. As we go, the model is continuously fine-tuning and reloading itself so that we can get better predictions as we go. In this way, we can speed up our time to a fully trained model. And as easy as that. For trainable mode, we recommend about 10 to 20 annotations before the model is really ready to go. Happy labeling!